what's going on, chimps? <laughs> God, the other intro was so much cooler, but it we was. can't do yeah. it. No, no, okay. No. <laughs> so today we've got a 2005 uh, Rickenbacker 620 in a limited color Montezuma Brown. Look at that. Oh boy, is it cool. Yeah, it's a good looking color. Uh, the weight on this guitar is seven pounds, six ounces. Uh, we call the neck medium. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's uh, the nut width is 1.65 inches, so it's very narrow. Uh, but the <clears throat> depth at the first fret is 0.94 inches, and the depth at the 12th fret is 0.96 inches. It's got the original pickups. It, uh, it's got a rosewood fingerboard. I mean, it's a Rickenbacker 620. It's a solid body Rickenbacker. What, what, you know, what else do you? Yeah. I mean, the, the fretboard is just so... Yeah. It's, it's very, sh like, the scale seems kind of short, and it's great. It's definitely a fun time to play. Yeah, because... Right? And my experience with playing that thing, because I played on it a bunch last night, is even though it's not a 12 string, it resonates like a 12 string. It almost feels like you're, it almost like sounds like you're playing a 12 string when, when you're playing it. Yeah, it's very comfortable. And, yeah, I, and I, even as far as Rickenbacker, like the Rickenbackers that we've had in here, this feels incredible. Like it feels good. I mean, I did set it up. Yeah, you did. <laughs> Since you're, yeah. <laughs> Tooting your own horn. Tooting my own horn. Yeah, but I mean, it smoking my own sounds bowl. great. <laughs> Uh, but right now we're in the middle position. Do you have anything else to add? Or... No, I just kind of I, I mean, took the floor from you. Take the floor. It's just the only thing I can really talk about is, is uh, Rickenbacker limited colors. You know, this is one of them. Montezuma yeah. Brown. If, if you're looking at it, you probably know that already. It's definitely got a more uh, like refined, elegant feel to it. Um, as opposed to some of the other custom colors like the blue boy i have a i love blue boy i have a blue boy rickenbacker bass uh but this is a more uh more reserved yeah it's i like it yeah it's a, I, it's a dignified guitar yeah <laughs> yeah it it just feels really easy to play it's very comfortable in your hands yeah Are we done dirty we done any distortion? Not yet, because I'm... Yeah. <laughs> I, it just sounds great clean, so I'm stuck. All right. These pickups are very... Uh, they're unique. Let's try a different position just to, just to see. Yeah, so I'll be brutally honest. <laughs> In my opinion, Rickenbackers are not like the most versatile guitars out there. Um, but they ha they all like the basses, their guitars. They have such a unique sound to them. Yeah. That, uh, it definitely makes it so that um, obviously they've earned their place. You know? Yeah. And I think for some players who want like you know everybody's inspired by something different, and maybe you want something that's that is different, like the. There's not a lot that like sounds like a Rick. Queens of Stone Age recording out of like a PV bandit. And yeah. 
some random guitar, you know? Maybe that it's not your traditional sound for distortion and stuff, but it, I think it's cool. It's I cool. I like it a lot, yeah. man. All right. Right on. <laughs> Sweet. All righty. We gave this one an 8.8 .8 out of 10. It's just got some light scratches throughout. Let's check it out. So right off the bat, you can just see some light scratches kind of down in that area. I mean, overall, the guitar is pretty clean, though. Okay. Nice rosewood fingerboard. The frets on this guitar are great. There's no wear on them. And let's check out the front of the headstock. Like I said, some light scratches, but nothing crazy. We'll check out the back. Back of the guitar looks clean. Just kind of some light scratches, but nothing, nothing crazy. That's the, that's part of the three piece on the headstock. That's, you see that on Gibsons, you see that on everything. Okay, and let's check out the back of the headstock. No cracks. None of that stuff. Okay, back of the neck looks clean. Yeah, I should probably need to polish that up a little bit. Okay, and back of the guitar looks pretty clean too. Like I said, just scratches. Overall though, it looks really good. All right, well, there we have it on that one.